Hello and welcome back to Will of the Scry. We are jumping into episode 122. We are here, Scryerman. We are at the climax. Crocodile is at the peak of his powers and our daring protagonist comes flying in on a falcon's back. This is the first time he's like in control of a bird, I think. That's <laughs> that he's with, right? <laughs> That's such a great Usually point. He's like Usually he's stuck in like the the bird's beak or something and like being like flown around I've never even thought that's such a funny parallel you just made you brought up a really great point in the last episode where you were saying that what makes him so scary is like you also just don't know if he's around because he can make himself like you know sand yeah. so he's just but he can also evaporate you in a second it's like you're only <laughs> alive because he's whether you have leverage or not um mm -hmm. It's because it's, there's a conscious choice. Like, it could change your yeah. Yeah. He's a well, Disney villain. That's what people need to realize when it comes to Crocodile, too, dude. Like, this guy is a fucking beast. All right, episode 122. Please like and subscribe. We'll describe. Yeah, remember, he thinks he's dead dead, let alone, like, right. alive and, like, yeah. able to, like, move. Move. The greatest weakness of the Logia user. They become too dependent on their powers that when they actually get hit, it's an issue. It's, it's funny how he bleeds when he's made a say. Like, I'm interested in deep diving on the Logia powers. Mm -hmm. You gotta think about it, like, it's more that this... This negates his power, so it, it undoes the devil fruit. Mm. Oh, now we'll see if we're on freeze the time. Ten mm. minutes. Let's see how many episodes that is. Yeah, he owns like both armies. Woo! Are these the rebels? These are all broke works. Double agents. Uh, right, so there's like three. Yeah, three different. Sides. Hmm. Oh, from the hat aside. <laughs> hey, fake it till you make it. Yeah. Hmm. That's the side I like to look at. I like to see. Oh, he's quick for a mud guy. Ooh. Oh, his arm is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> There's that rubber band. Ah, is that the first time he's used that? Mm -hmm. oh, whoa. No. Oh. You want to just completely soak him. Oh! <laughs> Water Luffy. <laughs> He's got the whole his stomach. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh, he's like actually mad now. Yeah. So he thinks Sloofy's oh. joking around. <laughs> oh, he knows he messed up. Mm. That's disgusting too, because not only is he wet, but he's like soaked in spit. Saturated with Luffy's like spit. <laughs> yeah. Luffy's part. Yeah. Bazooka. Oh, look at his mouth. Crocodile felt that one. 
Or even Miss All Sunday's concern now. <laughs> I hate when it doubles <laughs> up. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone recognizes that name. Her real name. Yeah, should I at this point? No. But it's important that it important people like Kings know who she is by name alone. Ooh. That's what he meant by get out of here, unless you want to be sucked dry too. He's sucking everything. So like why was he getting all bent out of shape about being wet if he has unlimited drying? Well, because he can't he can't put his hand on himself. He'd dry himself out. Uh, okay, so it's like separate to his. Mm -hmm. So if he's wet, he can't unwet himself. But if water's being shot at him, he can absorb it before it hits him. It's just because he was caught off guard. Right. Wow. This is what makes his power so devastating. Yeah, he could like destroy a planet, I feel like. If he put his hand down it long enough, sure. <laughs> yeah. I guess the planet. <laughs> it's yeah. the only planet as far as we know in this. Well, don't worry. There's habitable. individuals out there that are literally known for having the power to destroy the world if they wanted to. At a much more efficient rate than sucking up the ground, I'm sure. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. I still have no idea how strong uh, she is. Tashigi? Yeah. Well, she lost Zoro pretty handily. Right. Which was, makes me think she's not Kuina. Oof. She's like Smoker's, like... Right hand, yeah. And it's the right. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's effective. Seventy nine million at about eight years old. What's uh crocodile's bounty? Eighty one. <laughs> this can be another like Nami situation. Where he's like an hour long. Nope. Definitely not. That's crazy. That's why he wants to live here, man. He wants this to be his battle station. Mm -hmm. Unlimited power all around him. Oh, I love his score so much, too. I don't know if any other villains score Me too. Me too. Oof. Turned him into straw. <laughs> That's like uh, worse than the king being crucified. That brutal. That's yeah. pretty close to the Usopp uh, level. Yeah, that so, yeah, I guess Usopp is more close up and the the, the, but... the first time too when when he takes the hook and goes through Luffy's back into his stomach, that was brutal too. That image. And both just caught me off, like, I was just, like, barely, like, I was just following it, and then, like, all of a sudden, like, happened, and I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that was the shock factor. What happened with, with um, what happened to, so sorry, you were, um, might have to cut this a little bit, but, like, what, what were you saying about Smoker's Lieutenant when you repeated it? I didn't, like, catch, like, well, what the Well, I, I was, was saying that you were insinuating, you know, you were asking, like, what her position is, and, like, 
who she is going to be in the story down the line. And I'm saying, are you sure she's a thing down the line? <laughs> right, because I was like, that, like, it, it looked like she just, so, I didn't miss anything, right? The hands no. just came out and choked everyone, and then her glasses were like, Well, you didn't gone see, and... you didn't see the sword to her throat? I saw it to her throat, but I yeah. didn't know if, like... Well, then the glasses fell off, and that you know what that means. Can we watch that part again, just real <laughs> quick? Just that one... Yeah, thing. yeah, totally. Yeah, I was thinking it might be, like, a Nami situation, because, like, what is the story of from when she was eight here until now? Like, how did she end up under a uh, crocodile? Good questions asked, but... You are only seeing... One small piece of a very grand puzzle. Ah, uh, so she just doesn't, like, give a second warning. <laughs> yeah, she's an She'll assassin, bro. Huh? She's an assassin. <clears throat> That's what she's known for. That was her title. That was cool. I like that. Yeah, her power is very cool. I like, I still like that the first time you saw it. Because they leave it so much to be, like, you're you're so up in the air when that ship gets destroyed. Well, that's what I mean, because I was like, they didn't spell it out for me, so I was like, mm -hmm. uh, I like that you compare it to the Force. Yeah, there's no way to know that it's literally just sprouting body parts. 